Here we have a tick, and a tick is uh, relatively larger than, than, a, than the average flea. You can see, you can actually see the little legs, you know. Um, if you can hold them straight, I'm going to zoom in on it. There you go. Okay. All right. The important thing about a tick is you want to remove, remove the head as well. You don't want to leave the head in there because then it relieves room for infection. So it looks like the tick is embedded itself this way, so you have to remove them out like that. You don't want to go against anything. All right. So here Can we I go. Move them downward. Yes. I know, sweetheart. I know it hurts. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and grab them. We're gonna pull them out. Ouch. See? Ow, so ow, there's ow. no head left in there. Uh huh. And can, uh, we, can I see this guy on yeah, the video? Yeah, let's kill this little sucker. Ugh. There. It, I kind of smushed him, but. Basically, um, a lot of times they come bigger than this. Uh, you'll get like big females that are pregnant. They look, they're like gray in color. And then what you do with the, with the ticks afterwards, you just get you know, a little container with uh, bleach or alcohol and you leave them in there until you've gotten them all out. And then you just flush them down the toilet and tell the client that we found a couple of leaf, I mean ticks. The rule of thumb is a couple of ticks is okay to remove. Anything excessive after let's say five ticks, then you can start charging your customers because they can take a long time. A lot of times what they'll do, you'll have the baby ticks, the smaller ticks in between toes, and you have to remove those one by one. A lot of times they're around the muzzle um, and the nose area, so you have to remove those one by one. Uh, if he had excessive ticks, then we're going to go ahead and do a chemical flea dip, uh, and a, a tick dip, and go from there. So, uh, Do they actually have tick dips? If it's bad, because if there's a lot of, sometimes you'll find clusters of them, the smaller ones, and you want to go ahead and do the chemical bleed up to kill them off and then you start removing them. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Yvonne. You're welcome. So now we're going to move on to the sanitation. Okay, we're going to start in the back. The sanitation is in the back area by the anal area and also underneath the belly area. So we're going to go in the back here. A lot of times you'll find debris and stuff like that, so he's got a little bit of debris. But what we want to do is clip just around the anal area. And we always use a number 10 blade. So I'm going to set this to number 10. And we're going, to, we're going to clip away from the anal area. Never putting our blade directly on the anal area. Now again, like I said, this dog is going to probably be shaved. I'm going to have to bathe that area first and go, come back and finish it up. But basically, you're just cleaning around the area. I don't want to touch that with my bl blade at all possible. It's just around the anal area, and again, we'll go back to that after the bath. Okay? And I'm going to show you the sanitation trim in the belly area. Now, Polo is a smaller breed, so I'm able to hold him up. If he's a larger breed, you can lift the leg and shave underneath. Okay? But because he's a smaller breed, I can lift them up like this and get in there and clean that up. All right? I'm going to go against the grain. And this is, he's very matted. I'm going with the grain going down just to be able to get some of this off. Normally, you won't see this much going on down here. <laughs> All right. You go about two inches or one inch above the penis area. And it'll be so, a little girl, then it'll be right around the belly button area. And so, so girl, do you clean her belly up? Like her yeah, so area? let's say this was in here, you would, you, would, you would just go up to around where her belly button might be. Just to tell her in that area. That's it. That's it. And if the female is nursing babies and stuff, then you have to be really careful. Hopefully, um, if they time the delivery of the babies right, uh, we would have shaved the area nice and clean for easy access for the for the puppies. nipple part. Yeah. Just around the nipples themselves, then. Huh? Yeah. So I would. We would. We would go all the way up. Shave the entire belly all the way up here. Here we are with Polo. We're getting him ready for his bath. And um, what we did here is one of the things you have. And uh, the dog nice and clean. Remember, you're going to get wet too, so don't be afraid of that. <laughs> so there you go. Say goodbye.
Well, thank you, Ivan. Thank you, Paulo, for a wonderful demonstration of the pet hygiene course. And uh, see you on the next.